Hi, my name is Om Gupta. It's the 16th of January 2024, about 6 11 p.m. And this is why I think Modi ji is the G. I have five points to talk about. Point number A the way Modi ji speaks. I've never heard anyone in my life who speaks like Modi ji speaks. Like when that dude is on his podium, like that world, the world is his. Like bro stands and people listen. Like that's what happens. That's how commanding and authoritative Mr. Modi is. Like if he stands on that bloody stage and he says bark, you are barking. Like that is the way he speaks. Like if he says meow, you are pausing the bark temporarily to start meowing. Like Modi ji is the G. Point number two. What he did with Lakshadeep and Maldives. <laughs> it's just very funny to me. The reason is the Maldives president, Mr. Mudini, right? He says, anti-India, I don't like India, bye-bye India, right? What does Mudiji do? Mudiji is not a bitch. Mudiji doesn't go and he's like, hey, Maldives sucks. Hey, I don't like Maldives. Hey, Indians don't go to Maldives. Mudiji goes to Lakshadweep. He goes to Lakshadweep and he says, come to Lakshadweep, guys. Every fucking human in India says, boycott Maldives. Let's go to Lakshadweep. Maldives, 20% of Maldives runs on tourism, out of which I believe 20% runs on India. India is responsible for 20% of Maldives tourism money, right? And India will stop. That will become zero. And we'll go to Lakshadweep. Modiji has not only fucked Maldives, taken his revenge on Mr. Mudini, as well as promoted inside India. Like, Modiji is the G. Point number three. What this dude did with Gujarat Vibrant Vision, right? Gujarat Vibrant Vision is a tech summit, investor summit, which happens every year annually. It's been going on for the past 10 years, right? And Mr. Modiji comes to inaugurate it. Every fucking human who came there gave a speech. Prominent figures, including Mukesh Ambani, uh, Gautam Adani, uh, Suzuki Motors' ka president, uh, Nikhil Kamath, Youth Icon, my icon, everyone's icon, Nikhil Gamat is the man. Um, so many other people came, right? UAE diplomats, Mozambia diplomats, people from across the globe come here to put their money in because Gujarat is, Gujarat is a nice place to put money because you get like a lot of, because you have the trade going on there, you have the solar farms going on there, you have the wind farms going on there, everything goes on there, right? So, so Modish goes there. Every person who does their speech, Modish records and puts on his YouTube channel. So you have the biggest names in the world. Mukesh Amani is saying, Modi hai to mumkin hai. Like bro, Modi ji is the G. Point number four. Modi ji's YouTube channel. Right, when I look at Narendra Modi's YouTube channel, which says Narendra Modi, I would believe, what would I believe? I would believe ki Prime Minister ka hai. To official hoka, right? Ki officially catch Ladesh mein, I can see on his YouTube channel. No, there is a YouTube channel called PMO India where that happens, officiality, right? But Narendra Modi, that account, is so much more entertaining and so much more formative and well curated. Like the guy sitting there making that shit is a fucking genius. Cause, cause he makes it look like it's professional as hell, like it looks like it's the government thing. No, it's not. It's Modiji's personal Instagram, Insta personal YouTube. The posts are curated, in the way that the Mukesh Amani thing I said, the thumbnail had Mukesh Amani's face and in bold text it says, Modi hai to mumkin hai. So now you're thinking, ki the government is promoting Mr. Modi. Modi ji is the real ji. Point number five. Uh, point number five. Elections are coming in like four months. What has Modi ji done? In the past 10 days, I think eight days, He's inaugurated something new. Like he did Gujarat Vibrant Vision, I think a week back. The next day he was in Uttarakhand, opening something new. Next day he's in Ayodhya. Next day he's in Uttar Pradesh. Next day he's here. He, Modi ji, he's going around everywhere. Like this is such a good time for him to go around the country, right? Anyways, because you have elections in like four months. And also you're roaming around everywhere, giving speeches, inaugurating new things. So your name is everywhere. And you have elections in four months. That is why I think Modi ji is the G. Because dude is so cool. Dude fucks with people so well. 
that is the reason I think you should be Prime Minister of India. Now, again, I do not give two fucks who the Prime Minister of this country is. In my opinion, election should be held based on who looks good. Terrible way to conduct an election, right? But still, you have Mr. Rahul Gandhi, sexy Mr. Rahul Gandhi, and you have cute Mr. Modiji. And in this, you don't know who the fuck to pick, right? I don't give a fuck who gets picked. I, in my opinion, the person looks good should get picked like that. But Modi ji is the real G because the way he fucks with people. Like he should be the bloody prime minister because of his ability to fuck with people. Like a lot of people who can do this kind of shit. And Modi ji is on top of it. So <laughs> that's why I think Modi ji is the G. I just had to say that because I've been reading the newspaper every day for the past 10 days. And it's very fascinating, very interesting what the world is going on, what's going on in the world. Especially the luxury Maldives case really pulled my attention in. Because I went to Maldives and it's a great place. And I think it's one of the most beautiful places on the bloody planet. And you should definitely go there. Definitely go to Maldives. But just had to get that in. Because Modi ji is <laughs> the real G. I don't give two fucks. Vote for whoever the fuck you want. Do not take my advice. I'm an idiot. Up peace. Thank you for watching Songu Production. Nice hips. Bye.